I wish it had just told us this from the beginning though. Everything that could have gone wrong just went wrong. Did you hit the curtains from this camping car? What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King It. And this week we are hoping and praying that our vans show up after we ship them all the way from Morocco to Barcelona. If you're brand new around here, we just spent three months in Morocco and it was honestly one of the best places we've ever been in our bus custard. Whoa! The people are so welcoming and friendly. Do you like tomatoes? Oh! <laughs> It has so much to offer and it is a truly beautiful place. We ended up getting stuck there as the government suspended all passenger ferries due to the coronavirus. And our only option was to ship the van out and get a flight to pick it up. That didn't go as smoothly as we'd hoped. Go back, go back! Listen to me, I understand the situation. By some miracle, the vans made it through customs in Morocco and were ready to be shipped to Barcelona. In the meantime, we picked up three puppies from our friends at Morocco Animal Aid. Last one going in. To escort these little guys to the UK to be adopted. They were all abandoned in Morocco, but luckily taken in by this wonderful charity of beautiful souls. If you missed our video a few weeks ago, we got to meet Lucy, one of the co-founders of the charity, and she showed us around, told us their whole story, and we all cried. These guys do incredible work for all kinds of animals. We did a photo shoot for some of the dogs they'd rescued and made a calendar. It's available on our website and all profits will be donated to Morocco Animal Aid. You join us at the airport where we turned up very late and we're hoping that we can get on the flight. We've literally got two hours to check in. I think international is three hours. We're just waiting for Lucy now. She's had to park far away and we need to check in like a minute ago. So I don't even know what's going to happen right now. If we miss this flight, it's going to be a nightmare. It's the sausages! Hey Luce! <laughs> oh, how are you doing? You okay? Yeah, good to see you. Made it! Okay, lead the way. Come on! Okay, we're just waiting to check in. I think they usually leave the dogs to check in until last, which is really good because we've just got here in the nick of time. I'm sure you can tell by my moustache. We've been running. We've made it. And everybody's here. Everybody's Everybody on the tick-off list. Yeah. Yay! I hope you're not too scared for your first flight. Are you feeling good? Yeah? Good boy. I think having the dogs here has completely taken my mind off flying. Um, I'm feeling okay, a little bit anxious, but it's probably because I'm worried about how the dogs are going to take it. Like they're so small and they love Lucy and I'm like, will I ever be their foster mum for a little while? There's a 100% chance that I'm going to get on this flight. I feel okay about it. Craig's with me. He's just been the best for these last few days. Really like the most supportive person ever. I just want to cry thinking about it. But yeah, off to Barcelona we go. Oh, so the stress never ends. We haven't got a Spanish health care form thing. We knew we needed one, we tried to fill it out and I think the, the website was down when we tried to do it so now we need to do it here and it's just taking forever. There's an hour before our flight. I think we've just about managed to check in. We think we're going to get stopped going through because we've overstayed our visa. Although we've been to the um, police station to try and extend it, chances are they definitely haven't done that. So, uh, I mean, fingers crossed we get on this flight. You too. Thanks for bringing them up, mate. <laughs> we'll take good care of them, I promise. Okay. Don't cry, don't cry. Never easy with Craig and Amy. My girlfriend is coming too. She's over behind me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, oh Craig, we did it. We made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Flights at 3.40. We got stopped by customs like I knew we would. They pulled us in the office and the woman said, you're too late. Okay, and I was like, no, no, we're not too late. We're going to make it. Everything that could have gone wrong just went wrong. This wig is stuck to my neck. <laughs> it's not how we envisioned our last few hours in Morocco, but this is king in it. So really, we shouldn't have expected anything less. I'm so afraid for these little dogs, bless them. I just kept on thinking like, you know how loud planes are for us. You can only imagine how loud it is for them. I can't wait to get to them. I, I think they're going to be really scared. I hope they don't 
loads in their box. Bags are not cleaning that up. All right, we've just made it through everything, but where the hell do you pick up a dog at the airport? Like, I've got no idea. They don't come out with the baggage, do they? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Hey Oscar, good boy. Okay, we're just stopping to get them some water and some bags, but well, we didn't have any poo bags, so we're just gonna try and get some bags, but Milo's really angry at us. I don't know how we're gonna get him out of this cage. You, you watching? Okay, Milo. Good boy. <coughs> he hates me. This is Mario, the granddad of the group and also known as Nosy Norris. Not a keen walker. And when he decides, he will be carried. Honestly, <laughs> this kid's just so lazy. Look at him. This is Oscar, leader of the pack, a real gent in the house, but can be chopsy on the streets. And finally, Milo, the baby of the group, also known as Ginger Sausage, Mr. Trouble, Slinky, and Usain Bolt. Also, he doesn't like dragons. <laughs> the next problem we got is trying to get a taxi with all of this and all of them. You dog mum. And we've got a dog friendly hotel just for you. We do. Oh, it's your lucky day. He's going to let you go in the taxi. Here we go. That's it. Happy you get. Oh, what? hang on a minute. We're all tangled. Okay, you go first. Then you go. That's it. Don't be such a good boy. Come on then, Mario, with your little legs. Oh, I got you. Good boy. <laughs> oh. I think it's been a very long day for everybody. Fast asleep. Oh, what if they snore? I hope they don't snore. And I also hope they're not early risers. Bless them, they must be shattered. Come on to our hotel. Go on, Oscar. Good boy. Okay, in you go. Come on, then. Oh, mate, we were just outside. Oh, that's a big one for a little dog. Bloody Nora. That's the nervous travels, that is. Okay, we've made it in full squad. Sausages! Sausages, assemble! Okay, I'm not sure how much space to I mean, they're only little dogs, so... <laughs> okay, boys. Who's hungry? Put them out there, so... <laughs> that's all she Everybody has their own. You have to always pick up um, Mario because his legs are too short. Look how short his legs are. They're tiny. They're so tiny. Got an Uber Eats. Because I'm starving. We're both starving. And the dogs think it's for them. Come on, lads. You've already had your dinner. <laughs> this is going to be our life for the next <laughs> five days. No, no. No, no, Oscar. Just eat in peace. Right, before we go to bed, we're going to take the lads for a big walk. We've had a few accidents in the room and we don't want any more, so... She says a few accidents. We've had two peas, one poo, and the wallpaper ripped by a dog. <laughs> and the curtains are broken. <laughs> so it's going well. We did have to pay an extra 20 euros for the dogs, though, so... so uh, that covers the damage, surely. Ta -da! Oh uh, guys, I'm sorry. Okay. He's a good mate today. Oh, thanks Uncle James for picking up the poo. Bin <laughs> Bats? Bats? Not wear this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give it a wash mate, it'll be fine. He's had a long day. He's, uh, he's had enough of walking, so <laughs> Auntie Chloe's carrying him back. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> me while I was in the shop, yeah! <laughs> I was getting poo bags for you! I've got disinfectant and I've got these for any accidents that may occur in the bedroom. Um, and I've got some baby shampoo. Because whatever you can put on a baby, you can put on a dog, so... How do you know all this information? I used to be a dog groomer. Um, is there any room for me or what? While you went for a shower, I turned all the lights down and everybody has gone to sleep. I opened the bathroom door like really quietly and Amy's like, Oh, you've woken them all up! Like, I'll just sleep in the bath then. <laughs> Look at the legs. Look at 
<laughs> Good night Mario. Good night Milo. Good night Oscar. Night Craig. Night Trev. Good morning everybody. Don't act like they're cute and really nice because last night I didn't get any sleep. Yeah, I'm really tired. If they weren't scratching, they were chewing. And if they weren't chewing, they were snoring. <laughs> and if they weren't snoring, they were just fighting. And peeing at 3 o'clock in the morning. So we need to get up and get them out before they start wrecking the hotel room. Little criminals. Look at them. With so much energy. You're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. You're the worst boy. Oh, Mario. We'll give you a bath. I feel like they're scratching because they've got like... Just all the dirt and grime of Mor the Moroccan floors on them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so if we take him for a quick walk or a nice nice little morning walk, then we'll come back and we'll give you a shower. Yeah, because we were supposed to have a bath in this room, but there's no bath. So we'll give you a shower. Shout out to all the parents out there who have to do this with children every day and like to get up to feed them. I commend you. Yes, we've got a pier. Yay! Good boy, Oscar. Yay! Yes. Yay, he set an example. <laughs> so today is Friday and the vans are supposed to be getting here Sunday. So for now, we're just gonna have to entertain these three in the city, but it's completely different. Last time we were here, we were off and about going to nude beaches and all kinds yeah and just living the free life but now you have to think about everything with dogs because you can't just go to a restaurant yeah, to they, make sure that they accept dogs and big responsibility so yeah so we're gonna just hope and pray that the vans show up what I'm hoping is by the time we've had like three days of these guys like getting them into a bit of a routine with walking and eating and like peeing outside by the time we get into custard they won't be doing all that in there that's the plan anyway. Right then, which one of you smelly buggers wants to get washed first? Looks like you're volunteering, Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's feeling so sorry for himself. <laughs> I don't think Oscar wants to go. <laughs> I don't think Milo's ready. It's not him, buddy. Oh, good boy. Oh, you're the best boy. Now it's my time for a bath. We're going to have the zoomies now, isn't they? Straight on the bed, watch. <laughs> I like the wallpaper now. All right, here's the team. All brand new looking. <laughs> Who are you shouting at, cheeky boy? Okay, okay. room upgrades. Boys have got their own bed. Fat chance of them staying on that though. No, they, they will, they will. Nice huge bed here. Nice double sink. We got a bath. Right, so this is the first time these guys have seen anywhere in Europe. This is the first time they've been outside of Morocco. So today, we're just gonna be a bunch of massive tourists. I'll show you the sights, I'll show you the city, I'll show you everything. You look so tired, you need to wake up. <laughs> Chinos for the boys.
I didn't want to come back out. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally had some good news. We had an email this morning from the shipping company and the vans made it on the yes! boat. <laughs> so hopefully they're gonna get here tomorrow at eight in the morning and hopefully everything goes smoothly and we can pick them up with no dramas. I hope that's not foreshadowing again. Feet, because if they fall in. <laughs> dog problems. <laughs> the most worried dog mum of all time, look at her. <laughs> okay, good boys. Okay, you've been given a blanket, so you sit down nice and you stay on the blanket, okay? It's actually really incredible how many eyes are on the dogs when they're out. They're like the highlight of the city. Everyone's like, oh my God, three dogs. But yeah, the owner of this restaurant now is going to come and bring them some treats, which they're just going to love. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, he stops like he knows somebody and he's just like, oh, I have But they don't know you. You don't know anyone in Barcelona. Look at him. He thinks he's on holiday. It's his boot camp, mate. <laughs> Everyone is um, over walking around the city, especially Mario. So um, we're going to get a lift. Mm, Oscar's just been sick off the side of the car. Maybe we should stop. Um, do you want to stop? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, excuse me, I think we'll stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not very well, nor am I to be honest. Flinging us around. Yes, him, he's a man after my own heart. I get travel sick too, but luckily for me, I wasn't embarrassing and I didn't spew off the side of the car, but poor Oscar did. <laughs> so we're looking at the cargo ships out to sea and hoping that the vans are on one of those. They're hoping that the cargo ship hasn't sunk. It's very quiet in the hotel room this evening. I think everyone's shattered. I'm not sure what they did in Morocco, but walking definitely wasn't it. It was a big day, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to say, we've just posted last week's video and I just hope it doesn't put any of you off going to Morocco because the people in Morocco are so lovely and so friendly. It was just a really unlucky chain of events. Don't let it put you off. It's literally the best time we've had. Mm -hmm. It's the best country we've been to in our van as well. So yeah. if you're thinking about coming, don't hesitate because you'll have a great time. So tomorrow morning, the vans are supposed to arrive at 8 a.m. in the port of Barcelona. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow for the results. We had little communication about where our vans were and how we could pick them up. All we had was a telephone number. So the next morning, I gave it a ring. To brush up on my Spanish. Oh, see you later then. I would ask these guys if they learn Spanish in Morocco, but um, they're sleeping. So the dog slept on the sofa last night, but you give them the option and they always want to come into bed and be right next to you. It's just so lovely how like trusting they are and how safe they feel with us. It makes me feel really nice and it must be super tough for them because back in Morocco we think they were abandoned. That's why they ended up in the shelter. So to take a chance on somebody else is really lovely. But yeah, they're the, they're the best things ever. They're so gorgeous, all three of them. I'm so glad we did this, Craig. Yeah. Amy woke up to uh, Oscar licking her armpit as well. <laughs> Today in Barcelona. Eventually somebody answered, and we ran into yet another problem. Did you get the clearance from this camping car? We were just given your number. Um, we used the shipping company uh, in Morocco to ship from Tangier, no. Tangier Med. That's not why I'm asking you. Uh, so when you when you 
are making this import to Barcelona or this export from Morocco to Barcelona. Here in Barcelona, must be someone else who get this uh, pop unit and make the clearance. This is made for a customs agent. Did you contact with any agent here in Barcelona or in Spain in order to clearance these units? No, we were never. We were just given uh, a number for someone called uh, Jesus or Jesus. Um, but I tried to call him like quite a number of times, but he never answered. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if you do want to have a I wish they'd have just told us this from the beginning, though, because this is another thing. Like they've been, they probably say now, oh, this will take 24 hours, and then it's another day. Can they? Not, maybe they can't do it until it's arrived, though. I don't know. It's arrived. It's already there. Yeah. The boats. The boats showed up, which is great news. So we've emailed them now with all the documents we have. So hopefully they can like do the paperwork today. Yeah, I did Google it. I was like, how long does clearance usually take at like a shipping port? And they were like, from 12 to 24 hours. So the other problem we got is this hotel is now fully booked because there's an event on. Yeah. And to downgrade, it was like 170 euros yeah. to get to an another room. I mean, it would have been smaller for the poochies. So we have to book another hotel and Up move. sticks. Move. Move everyone and everything and the crates and everything. So it's just a bit of a ball lake. But that's okay, we're gonna have a great day, even though my shoelace looks like this. So um, I'll just do that up for the day. No, don't you dare! <laughs> okay, so you've all got your new smart collars and your harnesses. Alright, we just had an email from David from the Barcelona port. Okay. There's a lot of Spanish in it, but it says at King in it. As soon as my colleagues add in previous documents by this email, please print it and you can pick the vehicles <laughs> up to at the port terminal. <laughs> Twenty-five past eleven. Craig's managed to get us a twelve o'clock checkout. Luckily, the hotel that we booked for tomorrow is just cancelled on us because they're like, "No, we don't take dogs." But maybe we won't need it. Yes, <laughs> I'm so happy. We've all just been like trying to enjoy ourselves in Barcelona, but also being like, "Our oh, van's going to show up." Yeah. So I think everyone's as excited as I yeah. am. Too. You're excited too. You can't wait to see the bus. Come on then. And we're just a little bit worried because obviously things don't run that smoothly for us. So we're here, we've got the paperwork that we think we need. We've got everybody with us. So I really hope we can get the vans today. Otherwise we'll have to load us all back into another taxi and stay at a really expensive hotel again. Just take your paperwork and see what happens. All right. Okay, good Wait. luck. Don't come back without a biscuit and a custard. I went in and she just said no. All oh, right, okay. Thanks for your help, lady. We walked in and we walked out. All right, taxi dropped us to the wrong place, but it's just a two minute walk on the corner. Picture this, mate. We grab the vans now, we drive around the corner, and we pick everybody up. Oh, I've got the keys. Have you got the oh, keys? Oh, they've got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've walked the length of the docks, asked numerous people where we should be going, and nobody seems to know. It was never going to be straightforward. So. <laughs> Hopefully they're there, hopefully they're in one piece, hopefully my whiskey's still there and hopefully they're not damaged as well. Alright, take two, we've got the forms filled out. He's also sent us another form, which he didn't send us before, and we think we know where we're going. Wrong place again. Go to gate number six. Go to gate number seven, no, go to gate number six. Where should we go? Alright lads, I think this is it. Gate number six. It's a good sign, mate. So go to this cabin. Still can't see any vans though. Hola. 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 Are we here to collect some camper vans? Now we've got to go and see a copper. He's got to give us the thumbs up to let the vehicles go. We were passed from pillar to post 
told we didn't have the right documents. We went to see several different people who all shook their heads at us. And what made it harder was that we didn't speak any Spanish. We got the documents. <laughs> Hopefully the copper signs them off. We got here at 12 o'clock, it's half past three. Three and a half hours we've been knocking about for. We walked in there and he shook his head for about three minutes straight. And we were both just looking at each other like, Oh, we got our fella. We're going to get the van late. Yes! Oh my God. Custard, you beauty. Yes! I'm home! Yes!